He has become famous for his portrayal of strange and eccentric characters. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be taking a look at the career of actor Johnny Depp. There's one thing you should probably understand. Can you hear me? Johnny Depp was born on June 9, 1963, in Owensboro, Kentucky. At only 12 years old, he developed a passion for music, which would later lead him to drop out of high school and move to Hollywood. There, his dream of becoming a rock star shifted to acting. Depp made his feature film debut as a boy eaten by a killer bed in the 1984 Wes Craven horror flick A Nightmare on Elm Street. Depp followed this by playing the more defined role of a Vietnamese-speaking private in Oliver Stone's Platoon. Where to get these wounds? Can I tell Boku tell? Despite a mildly successful entry into film, Depp experienced a long period without work. This forced him to half-heartedly seek out the lead role of Tom Hansen Jr. on the 1987 undercover cop series 21 Jump Street. The TV show lasted more than one season and became a phenomenon that transformed him into a teen idol of the late 80s. To the shock of his co-stars and fans alike, Depp publicly showed signs that he hated his new position as a heartthrob, and so he unsuccessfully tried to exit his lucrative contract. Four years later, when 21 Jump Street finally ended its run, Depp began a career-defining association with director Tim Burton as Burton presented him with the opportunity to take on the bizarre yet isolated role of Edward Scissorhands. Good, isn't it? Throughout the 90s, Depp appeared in several other films that also benefited from his dedication to portraying isolated and misunderstood personalities. These projects included a string of successful movies such as What's Eating Gilbert Grape, Benny and June, Donnie Brasco, as well as his exceptionally eccentric portrayal of writer Hunter S. Thompson in 1998's Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. This is a very ominous assignment with overtones of extreme personal danger. During the 90s, Depp also took the opportunity to re-team with Tim Burton for a heartfelt tribute to the world's worst film director, Ed Wood. All right, and action! This project earned Depp a great amount of critical acclaim, as well as a Golden Globe nomination. And in 1999, Burton pleaded with the studios to allow Depp to play police constable Ichabod Crane in his high-profile project Sleepy Hollow. Yet despite Depp's previous collaborations with Tim Burton, the film role that made him an undisputed Hollywood heavyweight and brought him his first Academy Award nomination for Best Actor was that of eccentric pirate Captain Jack Sparrow in 2003's Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl. He would revisit that role several more times, with each sequel further dominating the box office. Ladies, will you please shut it? Meanwhile, Depp would secure a second Oscar nomination for Best Actor for his role in the 2004 British-American semi-biographical film Finding Neverland. As Depp continued to be a Hollywood sensation throughout the 2000s, he remained close with Burton and they continued to produce several offbeat films together, such as Corpse Bride, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, and his Academy Award award-nominated role in the 2007 horror musical Sweeney Todd, The Demon Barber of Fleet Street. What more can man require? Love, sir. More than love, sir. In 2010, Tim Burton and Johnny Depp yet again paired up to create the dark, highly stylized masterpiece Alice in Wonderland, this time with Depp in the leading role of the Mad Hatter. <laughs> Stop that. 